Wow, what a game, huh? What a game to watch. Jeez, the fans turned out in bunches on both sides. Great atmosphere uh, and a great game. Uh, somebody had to lose it, I guess. It's a shame it was us, but uh, that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's You don't realize it right now how much fun it was because you're so disappointed, but gosh, it was just Dunchy went out there and Look up, dude. Dunchy went out there and realized right away that he was not going to throw fastballs past our guys. And he did what all great pitchers do. He adjusted on the fly right away, started pitching backwards, and they started playing some defense. That's why he's a veteran uh, that wins a lot of games. And our guys just battled and battled and battled. And we threw all of our bullets at him with, uh, you know, Kearns, Pitched really well. Uh, Kessler went out there and did what he had to do, and, and Zarb grinded it out at the end. But I mean, facing Dunchy, a guy who's eight or nine and one in the ACC, and these guys are getting ready to tell you how good a slider that last cat had. You don't see sliders like that very often. Uh, for him to do what he did to our lineup, as good as they're seeing the ball, uh, that's that's a pretty good guy to have right there. And they deserved to win, man. They, just, they were down three and grinded it out. And, Got hits when they needed to uh, off our best pitchers. So congratulations to Wake. But uh, we are in a position right now that we were in last week in the conference tournament. This is the hardest game to win in a regional. Uh, the game where you're, you're coming off a loss, playing a team coming off a win in an elimination game. And we were in this spot last week and came out and beat the number three team in the country, Texas Tech, pretty handily. So. I feel certain that our guys are going to come out tomorrow with a lot of energy and a lot of passion and throw their hearts on the field and, and see what happens. Questions for the student as we have Jackson Kramer, and I'm sorry, who's on the end here? Kyle Davis. Kyle Davis. Questions for Jackson or Kyle? Guys, for, for either of you, what was that uh, energy like for you? You know, on the field. I mean, it seemed like it was pretty intense in the stands. But did you guys feel that and kind of feed off of that? Oh uh, yeah, we get in games like that every now and then. Uh, being in the Big Twelve, uh, we had a couple of those games like that uh, at home when we played TCU. But I think what made it different tonight was there's a lot on the line. Uh, it being a regional game, that's what made it special. And it seemed like every pitch got something out of the crowd or both teams, and every pitch was really important. So it was just. It was a little stressful, but it was a lot of fun too. So it was fun playing in front of a crowd like that. Talking about the, the slider from their reliever to close it out. What did you guys see that made that so difficult? What was it like to face him? Uh, I mean, he's he's throws 94, and then he has a, a really good frisbee slider. It starts at you, and it kind of just bites hard away from you. Uh, really hard on righties. Um, you know, like you said, as good as we're seeing it. He still kept us off balance and still was able to get us a swing and miss. Um, you know, hats off to him, but uh, we got to be better and we will be tomorrow. Offensively, I mean, obviously, kind of got six home runs yesterday. Started off, scored three in the first inning today. You guys had to be feeling pretty good about yourselves at that point, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, we're still feeling good uh, as the game went on, even towards the end of the game. But, uh, I mean, that pitcher did what he, he does best. I guess he. Uh, it kind of settled in after that first inning and just made it real tough on us as the game went on. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, guys, thank you for being here. Uh, let's open up questions, uh, more questions for Coach Mason. Coach, just curious what your plan of attack was against Sheets. It seemed like you were able to keep them in check there, um, strike them out a couple of times, and then finally got you there in the night. You ever seen anybody intentionally walk a right-handed hitter to pitch to a left-handed hitter with a righty on the mind? That doesn't happen that often, but Fairchild's such a good player. Jeez, he was seeing the ball so well all night, and we had struck sheets out a couple times and felt like that was a better matchup. Uh, obviously, it didn't work out. Uh, getting behind in the count 2-0 didn't, uh, didn't help, but uh, yeah, we'd have, we'd have done the same thing over again. Uh, Fairchild's a good player as I've seen this whole season, and and they like said he he was standing in there pretty well. He was uh, got a nice hit up the middle on a breaking ball, and that's Zarbniski's best pitch. And 
I, I did not want Fairchild to, to beat us, so took our chances with Sheets. And uh, congratulations to them. He got a good pitch to hit and did what he's supposed to do with it. That being said, your guys, you have to be happy with how your guys hunt in against Sheets earlier in the game. Had two kind of prolific battles with him that your guys come out on top. Were you feeling good about what you're able to do with him earlier in the night? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, they like said he he came up in some big big situations earlier in the game and and we were able to strike him out with men on base and and uh, felt like the matchup with Zorb was pretty good, uh, but he give him credit man it's it's hard to get a game winning hit unless you're the type of player that wants to get a game winning hit so uh, yeah we had the right matchup and uh, I think they felt the same way. Coach, you mentioned the Texas Tech. What is it about your team? What attributes do they have that led them to have success in that situation? And is that something I would suspect you want to draw on now? Yeah, you know, it's, I've said this a bunch this year, but unless you're inside the locker room with a team, you have no idea what a team goes through this year, uh, during the course of a season. <laughs> and this has been uh, the toughest year we've had as a team, adversity-wise. Uh, we've got a lot of pitchers out. We've lost probably 200 innings of pitching. Uh, the kid who's on the top of the stat sheet and batting average is, uh, we lost him for the year. And there's been times where uh, we've had a team gathered around an injured player uh, just wondering how it's going to go. Uh, so it's been a tough year on these kids. And to get to where we are right now uh, is a tribute to the decision that they made early in the year uh, to be a really good team regardless of what happens to you. So I've got no doubts that as soon as we take these jerseys off, we're going to forget about what happened tonight and regroup and come out with our backs against the wall. And uh, i got to believe we're going to play a good game uh, at noon. And then I'm going to believe we're going to play a good one at 5. And then I believe we're going to play a good one tomorrow or the day after that. So I'm going to go to bed feeling really good about my team and how we're going to come out. And uh, there's going to be three or four teams this year probably win a regional out of the losers bracket, and why not us, right? You might have been seventh or eighth. I'm not sure. Ivan gets to second with none out. You got three, four, five up. What what percentages are you playing to decide whether to sack bun or whether to let the middle of the order hit there? You know. Darius is a tremendous hitter. He's been a tremendous hitter ever since we've had him. Uh, you know, he gives you three shots to drive in the winning run that's on second base with the middle of the lineup, three, four, five coming up. Uh, I just wanted, I want to see Darius get a hit to, to put us ahead. So, and he got some pretty good swings uh, off the slider. Uh, the last one was in a really tough spot, but the ones before that, I thought he put some good swings on it. So, uh, yeah, I, just, I got all the faith in, in the world in our guys. And, and I think they know that, kind of like the football team, that when you have fourth and inches, the whole team wants to go for it. And sometimes the coach won't let you. But uh, I, I want my team to know that I believe in them, standing at the plate and swinging the bat. And, and I, I believe they feel that way. Six walks over the last four innings. Is that really the key? Kind of put them in position to score several times. Yeah, you know, we went into it saying the team that gets the most free bases is going to win the game, and I haven't really looked too much at the box score, but I think they probably won that battle of the free bases. So, uh, yeah, a team like that with with the energy and you know, I, the biggest part of that game might have been the coin flip last night. Them being the home team, you always worry about that in their own park that uh, you're setting up the exact scenario that happens. Uh, that they can walk you off at the end. So uh, hopefully next time we play them, if we do play them again, we are the home team. I've already been told that. So that's just great news for me. <laughs> so uh, we're going to we're gonna feel really good when we go to bed tonight. It's been a great season. And we're just going to, our back's against the wall. We're going to come out fighting. Anything else for Coach Mason? OK, thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.